I be hustling, no sweat. Ain't no secret, I'm from the street. I used to swing out of it. Turned it vid to a Rory. Welcome, welcome to another week of JR. And today, this video is about my biggest pet peeves. Like, I have some big pet peeves. And I literally wrote a whole list. And we about to go through them right now. Like, literally, right now. Get to the video. So pet peeve number one, right? We have 15 we're gonna go through. The last one is gonna be the big my biggest pet peeve. So number one, people people stare, right? People staring at you, right? You come to school, you late, it could be one minute late. If that bell rings. I don't care, actually, even before the bell rings, if everybody's in that classroom and you come in by yourself, you're going to look at Like, I know I look handsome and all, but you ain't just gotta stare at me like, dang, can I sit down? I haven't even sat down yet. And you staring at me. Stop staring at me. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Number two. Teachers expect that they only have one class, right? So basically what I'm saying is that teachers give you homework. Like, you have eight classes, right? But all they see in their head is that one class. They don't care about the other classes. So they'll give you 10 pieces of papers of homework, but they forget that you have other classes. And like, they like, well, that's not my problem. I don't know. It's like, bruh, really? That doesn't make no sense. You have to understand that we all, we have eight classes. And like, it's difficult. Like, you can't just overload. This is not the only class. It's not elementary school where we only have one teacher. You know what I'm saying? Number three, the question I get all the time, am I single? 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 I get that question all the time. And it gets kind of like annoying because it's like, because I'm not booed up on um, Snapchat or Instagram or anything like that. Everybody swear that, like, uh, am I single? They want to know if I'm single or not. And, like, the answer to that question is, like, I'm going to answer that in the next video. I'm going to have another video I'm going to drop tomorrow. And this the video going to be called, Are you, Am I Single? Hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about that. Number four. Every, oh, when people be like, why don't you do this on YouTube? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I love when you guys give me ideas to do on YouTube, but when I say, why don't you do this? People be like, why don't you have this many subscribers? Why you don't have all these comments? Why you don't have a lot of likes? Why you don't, you know what I'm saying? It's because I'm building and I'm not that like, on it. I'm not persistent with YouTube and I'm about to be really persistent with it. Christmas guys, this quality would be so much better. I invested $3,000 for Christmas to get better quality for YouTube. So start in December, it will start in after Christmas. This, this quality will be top notch quality. I'm telling you, new intro, new everything, top notch. I have lights coming, backdrops coming. I have everything coming because I want to make this a better channel. I want this channel to become huge. I want this channel to grow, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, the reason I don't do, reason why I don't know, you gotta ask. Um, you guys like the videos when I post them. I think whenever I, when I'm not active, like my followers, my subscribers don't drop. They just stay. Whenever I am active, I see an increase. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I release a video, there's an increase with something. And it's it's gonna get more accurate. Definitely in start of 2018, it will be more accurate every single week. People that talk crap, that's another one of my biggest pet peeves, right? Why do you talk crap, right? And then they talk crap behind your back, right? Like, I'm in this group, right? And I'm in this group for student council, right? And like, I hear not all of them talk about me, but I hear certain ones talk about me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I haven't approached them. I haven't said nothing to them because I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna listen to what other people have to tell me about what they said. If they don't get the balls and come to me and tell me how they feel about things, whoever it is, I don't know who it is, that's why I'm not jumping to conclusions. But if they don't get the balls to come tell me how they really feel about something that I don't do or that I do or what I have done, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
then it's not an issue to me. It's not an issue. It's not an issue until you make it an issue. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to come and approach you if I don't really, you, see, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we older enough, we're about to be adults. And I feel like if you have something to say to me, you would come to me personally and speak to me about it instead of talking to other people. But I don't jump to conclusions because I don't know 100% if they said it or if they didn't say it. But even if they did, I would not care. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because it doesn't hurt me. These are temporary people in my life. The whole board. The whole board is temporary. This is temporary. Okay? Senior year, even if I win, don't win, it's still temporary. All this is temporary. Your regular friends in school is temporary. Your teachers in school is temporary. High school life is temporary. <laughs> There's life after this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but I love my board. Me, I love every single person on my board. All. Every single last one of them, I love them. And if they have something, deal with me. You know, I want to know so I can fix it. But, you know, I guess it's not an issue because nobody has approached me yet. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're in number six. Parents being bipolar, right? Let me take off my glasses for this one. I absolutely hate when parents be like, oh, you can do that. You know what? No, you did that. You did that. You did that. You did that. No, oh, you did that. I know you did that. You did that. You did that. Like, stop doing that. You make yourself look very bipolar. Are you bipolar? I'm not going to stick on that one for a long time. Let's go to the next one. Grandma's treating you like a baby. I don't care how old you get. Your grandma will always treat you like you were young, right? So it's like, I want to go past. No, you should go here. It's going to be bad kids here. I'm like, Grandma, are you serious? I'm about to be 17 years old in January. You know, I know right from wrong. And if I do wrong, it's just a learning stage, you know. Stealing my money. I need to put this right here. Stealing my money. Don't steal my money. Don't. Because my karma and my revenge is worth more than the amount of money that you take from me. Alright? Don't do that. Please. Never. SoundCloud artist. My biggest pet peeve is a SoundCloud artist. People that only put their music on SoundCloud. Like, you work so hard for this song, right? These songs on SoundCloud are amazing, right? You work so hard, wrote bars, took time out of your life to upload it on a free, on a free um, app. On a free website, like I feel like you should, you should be able to put your good music on iTunes, on Google Play, on you know what I'm saying, Spotify, Title. You know, I feel like SoundCloud's nothing wrong with it, but I feel like don't only put yourself in the SoundCloud category. Have make it able where if I can't get on SoundCloud, I can go to YouTube, I can go to iTunes, I can go to Spotify, I can go to Instagram, I can go anywhere to get that song. I don't want to have to just go to SoundCloud. That's what I call a SoundCloud artist. It's a person that have no music anywhere out there, but on SoundCloud. Next one, catfishing. People call me a catfish, right? Like when I send them my pictures, they swear I'm catfish. I'm not a catfish, I'm a regular person. I am JR, I'm Ian, that's my real name. I'm Ian, I'm JR, I'm human, I'm not a catfish. If you see a catfish in me, be welcome to send it to me at ianbooking6 at gmail.com. I will tell you if it's me or not. I promise you, I will. Um, hoes. Hoes, 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 hoes. I feel like I've had plenty of them. Plenty of them. Plenty. I had my share rounds, right? I feel like that's not my life anymore. You know, it's time for me to stop. You know, next one. My biggest pet peeve. It's when females have no respect for themselves, right? You expect a guy to be like, oh, let me sleep with you the first night, right? I'm the different type. I'm a guy, but I feel like if I wanna be with you, I need you to have respect for yourself. So if I tell you I want to sleep with you the first night, I expect you to say something to me like, no, we ain't going to do that. I like them type of females. I like them females that make you wait, you know, because I feel like the longer you wait, the better it's going to be. I'm just saying, like, you know, you could light them candles up and you could give, like, and who wants to just have sex anywhere behind a portable, behind the car? No, not have sex with my girl 
it's gonna be magical like it's gonna be amazing petals it's gonna be everything because i feel like women should be treated like queens and y'all say y'all treat y'all women like queens but y'all really don't y'all treat them like they crap like if you just bust her open anywhere you treating your woman like she's that's not a queen you know what i'm saying i treat my women it's like you gonna be a queen. that's why me and relationships really don't work out that much because if a woman don't have respect for herself i'm not gonna have any respect for her so i try to have respect for women but for me to have respect for you you have to be able to have respect for yourself i don't think i'm wrong for that i don't think i'm wrong for that next one school lunches we are in prison guys these people give us school lunches and they are disgusting. Like, they give us beans. I was sick to my stomach. I was still in a party. Beans with rice. I don't even know what kind of rice it is, right? They give us carrot juice. It's like, oh my God. Ugh. They need to change their lunches. School security. They do the most. Okay? They do the most. I'm cool with all the security guards at my school, you know what I'm saying, like, but I feel like they still do the most, like, you know, it's not necessary, it's very unnecessary for them to be doing the most. That was all my 14 pet peeves, and now we have one more pet peeve, my last one, my last pet peeve, and people always ask me, right? Why am I so conceited? Why am I always so conceited? Why am I conceited? Right? To answer that question is, you know, I'm handsome. I don't need nobody ever tell me I'm handsome because I already know I'm handsome. People tell me I'm handsome, I'll be like, thank you, I know. And it's not to be disrespectful, it's because I know I am. I don't need somebody to tell me that I'm handsome, but I'm so conceited on Snapchat, and I'm so conceited on Instagram and things like that, due to the fact that I like to look good, you know what I'm saying? And uh, one of my friends, on my boy Candace, was like, he posts, he, he posts more on Snapchat than a girl do. And I'm like, you know, like, you know, Snapchat is not made for a gender, you know what I'm saying? And I don't see nothing wrong with me being on Snapchat being conceited, you know what I'm saying? And I probably do it more than a girl do because I probably love and I admire myself more than a female do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just, I like when I can post something and females can swipe up and send them like emojis with a slide drilling down and the wet signs. I like when they can send me that and then we can start talking and then we can get further. But because a certain person don't do that, they don't know why I do it. I do it because it's attention. I like to get attention. Attention is what I need in life. That's all I want. That's what I want to be when I grow up. I'm doing YouTube because I want attention. I'm about to build my fans, build my subscribers because I want attention. I need attention. Attention, attention, attention. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Those are my 15 pet peeves. This video was inspired and recommended by my good friend, Lily Cross. Give a round of applause. Yeah, Lily Cross. Give a round of applause. Lily Cross. So I thank you, Lily, for giving me this video to do. And appreciate you so much. See y'all later, JLTV. Love you guys much. And enjoy your week. Mwah. Love you.